battles of history. Mobsters versus pirates begin. Yes, it's an ERB day. <laughs> ERB Monday. Yeah, baby. ERB Monday. And we're the Renegades. Uh, I'm Ben. That's Nate. That's Micah. Y'all know us and... Tolerate us. I mean, tolerate us. You know, tolerate us is a good safe safe guess there. But yeah, we've got an ERB coming up. Uh, Blackbeard versus Al Capone. Oh, yes. Quite the strange combination. It's, it's an interesting combo, especially considering it's like this one... Uh, as as you can see on screen right now, was sort of sponsored by uh, Assassin's Creed Four. Black, yeah, yeah, which is which, why you get Blackbeard, which in had it. Blackbeard in it, yeah. yeah. Which uh, I mean, I don't think that detracts from it. It it makes for an interesting combo, but it, it works out. I think. I think so too, because Blackbeard. You think about it, he's arguably the most famous pirate mm-hmm. of all time, and you think about who's the most famous gangster. Who Al who, Capone? Who easy? Yeah, because. He he was pretty much ruled Chicago. Oh yeah, during the Prohibition era, and then you know, showed up in Johnson City. Oh yeah, you know, not too far from us. Yeah yeah, about yeah. Uh, about a good 20, 20, 30 minute drive down the road. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, so we got the battle queued up here. Yep, lying, cheating, stealing. Let's uh, let's see who wins this. Anybody got a prediction? Oh, uh, I I would say Blackbeard. But at the same time, I got to go with Al Capone. It's a tough call. I got to go with Al Capone because Al Capone, to me, he was a true boss. He was feared. and Blackbeard was feared as well, but you look at how both men died. You look, Well, actually, Blackbeard more, more along the lines went out on his feet. He, you know, had, he got decapitated hmm. while, while fighting the British on his ship. Uh, Al Capone went out in a courtroom. He went out, he went like a true like a true mob boss. He went out and he pretty much lived out the rest of his life uh, in he actually died in prison of mm-hmm. a of a I think it was an infection or something. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, which which I don't know. I feel like Blackbeard I, I think there's more of a mythology around Blackbeard. Okay. Uh, actually, um, now that I think about yeah, it, I got to go know. with Blackbeard too. Now, now because it's like they were both down. I mean they're both pretty bad dudes and they had a bad crew, but it's like I don't know Blackbeard has spawned more mythos than Al Capone has. Yeah, but I guess true. it's because I mean Blackbeard there wasn't as much reliable documentation. So true. they circulated a bunch of ridiculous stories about him that may or may not have been true. Yeah. Or he may have actually tied lit fuses in his beard and like fought that way. Who knows? I mean Yeah. Yeah. I, I've heard I've heard all sorts of weird things. But yeah, I, okay. I uh, I was on the fence. I, I was originally leaning Al Capone, but now that I've said it in my head I gotta say Blackbeard just because of how just because of how the myth as you said the mythos is surrounding. It. Plus, I mean, dudes with swords, come on! It's <laughs> like, yeah, I know. don't know, but the, but then you got the Tommy gun. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. which can chop through anything. <laughs> it takes a special kind of person to look somebody in the eye and then stab them. Yeah, you. Uh, that takes. A I'm not saying killer. this from yeah. personal experience. That's a cold hearted. <laughs> you killing. can shoot someone without looking at them. Just yeah. Yeah, also, just, also not from personal experience. Also not from personal <laughs> experience. Look, Mike is a shady dude. Yeah, we don't we don't know what goes on. Yeah. It's, All right. Okay. Let, don't let's, don't let's question fire. my I don't methods. Know I can't make a call. I can't make a call on this one yet. So we've got two predictions for Blackbeard and one. I'm gonna sit. On, I'm gonna be squarely on the fence here because I don't know. Okay. Do the thing. A book report of the Wonder Oh, Capone. I come strapped with six pistols and a dagger Walk under the black flag with a scallywag swagger Ain't no parrot on my shoulder and no rings in my ear I'm an irate pirate, real swashbuckling buccaneer Breathe with me please, I'm the high sea Caesar My cold heart is many degrees beneath the deep freezer You're an obese greasy sleaze, squeezing a diseased beater That no skeezer would touch if she had 50 foot tweezers <laughs> Don't start a war with me, you're not hardcore I'll pimp slap those face scars of your poor and sorrow You spent time in Alcatraz, I'm sure you were fine If you drop the soap as little as you dropped over right. I'm a busy man, kept the grunge, I'll make this quick I'm ruining pirates faster than Johnny Depp did Ooh. Ain't simple as yet, but you're a huge dick a scurvy ridden ship filled with bilge wrap bricks. I run them in the criminal syndicates. To show respect and get the tongue ripped out your neck and shove right up your poop deck. Slapping bitch ass teachers back since I was 14. You ain't a tough guy, my kids dress up like you Halloween. I use that fuse in your hat to light up you and your buddies and burn your sailboat down and collect the insurance money. Then maybe they find your bloated body dead in Washington but a beach. It's a Capone rap and I'm capping his captain. A piece? Alright, the Valentine's massacre brought your condemnation. But I'm gonna sink you faster than your income tax evasion. When I toss you overboard, 
like a mob abomination. So prepare to learn the Davy Jones locker combination. Forty cannon on the Queen and your gang can't stop it. I'll pilfer all your rum and sell it back at the profit. Cause I'm a criminal legend with a badass day. You're a fat thug with an STD in his brain. Come on, they chopped your head off and they hung up from a rope. The only legend you left was your prohibition on soap. I mean, that rat this bed strapped so many crumbs. This bum who got Barona still at lunch for a month. I'm the MC assassin. Dang. Okay. That that was that was that was good. Very nice. Man. Very nice. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. Jeez. Not as clear cut as you guys. No, was not it? as no. Yeah. Nowhere as clear cut as the previous ones. Um, Some of the previous ones were just like Yeah. Yeah. This one's this one's close. Honestly, this one really balanced out for me. I I really think they're pretty much neck and neck. Yeah. I think so too. I mean I, if I if you put a gun ooh. to my head, I uh Micah, don't. That's not a challenge. No, I, no, no. It's not. It's not a challenge. It's just a. It's a metaphor. <laughs> yeah. If you if you had to put it, if you had if I had to make a decision right now, mm-hmm. just based upon you know the just based upon all that was said and everything, and how many time and and how fresh he kept the lyrics and everything. I, uh, I gotta say probably Blackbeard. That's all just right. me. That's just me though. I mean because, um. It, it's I, hard to call. Yeah, it's see, so now, hard. now now that you've said Blackbeard, you're like, am I am I sure? On well, no, 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 no. Don't don't let me sway you. I mean, no, I mean, no, no. I'm thinking like now that you've said that, you're just like, I don't know. Well, am here's right the thing: is is in it's hard. It is in the in the first in. in the first half, Blackbeard I think had it. Yeah. But then the second half, Capone stepped up and oh, had yeah. the writing was much better. Yeah. Um, so, so I call me Al. So I think. It, yeah, that I think was it, really good. That was good. That that. I think it balances out. It really does because yeah. I think I think each one dominated the different half. Yeah, I think each one had their own dominant verse. Uh, one had one dominated the first half, the second dominated the second half. Yeah. So that's it, why it's, it's a draw hard for to call. Me. I mean, this is like razor thin to me. This is. As as close as you can get, microscopic. Because, like mm-hmm. we said earlier, I mean, my personal bias was Blackbeard, like we yeah. discussed. But as far as the writing goes, I really do think this one's a draw. It's yeah. not, yeah, I'm not clear cut at all. Yeah, I I'd almost have to say this one's this one's a draw because the like I don't think definitively you can pick a winner. I mean, you can you can go based on little biases here and there, but you know, objectively, this one might just be too tough to call. I, I would have to agree, one hundred percent. It, it, that's, this is the closest one I think we've had. Yeah, because and this one's sort of out of left field too. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. But once again, the rhymes, Ooh. the rap, the mm-hmm. beat, uh, the beat produced by Paul Magnet. That's, oh yeah, that was really good. And also Peter and Lloyd, as always, killing it, man. Yeah, they kill it every time. I mean, they get into their characters and they kill it. And then Edward Kenway shows up and starts stabbing guys in the yes. background just for no reason. <laughs> that was pretty great. I mean, if it's going to be sponsored by Assassin's Creed, like, you know. You got to put Edward the assassin Kenway? in there. Yeah, why have not just have Edward in there? Gratuitous. It's just, why was he killing Blackbeard's crew? I mean, him and Blackbeard were friends in the game. Yeah. I mean, maybe they were stealing from him. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I think the only mark against Capone, like, because everything was balanced, except that Capone was the one that dropped the the fact that it was sponsored. I did Capone notice that. Up yeah. Kenway. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And I was like, eh. yeah, but that... like, I mean, outside of that, because the, I mean, that's an extenuating circumstance. Right. I don't think you can count that necessarily. No, no, no. I mean, it's too close to call. Yeah. So yeah, we have two. Call it a draw, and me, I call it for Blackbeard. In fight, in fights, that in. Heavyweight fights, uh, boxing, and UFC, that would be considered a majority draw. So, yeah, this is officially a draw. So, and me, I'm so on the fence about it. I, I'm still fully yeah. undecided. But like I said, if you had to put a gun to my head, I'd probably have to say Blackbeard. But that's just me. I mean, other people out there may have seen Al Capone winning it by a month. It, it just goes to show what what impacts you more. Oh yeah. And for us, I'd say I'd say 
I'd say we were we were impacted equally by Ooh, both by definitely. both rappers. Yeah, gosh. They Ugh. both they both got in a lot of historical jabs. Yeah, they did. Of. Very good historical jabs. Yeah, I mean they. I but, mean, but I do have to say, not this is just personal bias, nothing to do with. But I do think going out getting beheaded is way cooler than getting nailed for tax evasion and dying in prison. Uh, yeah, dying I mean, of syphilis in prison. Yeah, yeah. Going to prison for tax evasion is more just funny than anything. Just ask Wesley Snipes. Oh. Um, but I'm just saying that guy's my hero because I don't believe in paying taxes. So, <laughs> <laughs> so really, you should be pulling for Capone as well. Well, no, because he died in prison of syphilis. I mean, I would like. You'd want to die on the high seas in exactly. a fight. Yeah, that's fair. In a sword fight. Yeah. With the government. We, yeah, I could see that. I can actually see you doing that hair, the hair oh, out. We've and got everything. a whole plan at work. Like a bunch of us, we're going to get a boat. We've got a we've got a captain or a commodore rather, because we're going to have several boats. Yes. Um. There's a no parrot rule. Yeah, um, that's a good call. That's yeah, a good call. I yeah. guess so. John Tron won't be able to come. Uh, that's well, not. No, we just not a parrot. There was one Jock? of. Uh, I don't think Jock's one parrot. of our pirate crew has a history of parrots, so there's a parrot ban on our ships. Oh lord, there's a hit. Oh lord, um, there's a history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When do you sail? Yeah. Just saying, it's going to happen. So, yeah, we, yeah, we'll sail out into international waters and just have our own commune. Like, we'll, we'll bring out like dirt and sand, like make our own island and everything, kind of like how they did in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> yeah. I've got a jar of dirt. I guess what's inside it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. Yeah. All right. So, final ruling majority. Majority too co- too close to call. Yeah, majority yeah. draw. Yeah. So uh, with that, I guess we leave it to you all. Yeah. You know, tell us tell us what you think because <laughs> this one's this one's really close. Really hard to call. Yep. Too hard to call. Jeez. Yep. And with that, I think we're gonna gonna wrap this one up. So uh, if you like what you've seen, let us know. If there's something you want to see. You know, let us know. We, you know, we've we've built this whole thing on fan requests. So, you know, just just keep us keep these requests coming because they're some of them end up being really traumatizing, but some of them end up being really good. <laughs> yeah, indeed. They, they sort of tend towards traumatizing them. Yeah. Anyway, uh, with that, uh, we're gonna call this to a close. I'm Ben, Nate, Micah, and uh, we'll see y'all next time. Thank <laughs> you.